Hey there, Tater Tots, and welcome to the last Minecraft mod uh, showcase of Apocalypse Week 2013. Uh, today, I'm going to do, um, a, uh, I think it's really fun, um, it's, it's the Invasion mod. Um, so basically, it reminds me a lot, and I'm assuming it's kind of inspired by uh, that game Orcs Must Die, where there, there's this thing called a rift, and you have to protect it. It's kind of tower defense-y. Uh, there's not so much tower defense in this one. There is a couple traps. Um, it sounded like the guy making it was interested in making even more. Um, but, I mean, you, there's also, you can set up, you know, redstone traps. I haven't done anything like that, but old school <coughs> uh, redstone traps, of course, will probably help. Um, but basically, first you start off with a diamond and some lapis and some redstone, and you make this thing called a phase crystal. Then you take some obsidian, uh, some redstone, and that phase crystal, and you get a nexus. I'm going to go ahead and... I don't, I don't actually want that many. I just want one. Um, these are some helpful things. Uh, nexus adjuster can help you uh, change the uh, range of it and the material, material probe. Uh, I think it tells you the strength of your things, because mobs in this can break through walls and stuff. And then uh, when you place your nexus to activate it, which starts an invasion thing, um, you have to use uh, catalysts. So this here is the uh, normal nexus crystal. It it's makes a more powerful uh, invasion, stronger, faster invasion. And the stable one is a, a bit more steady in pace. Uh, we're going to use the normal for this demonstration. And then these uh, rift flux is what the nexus starts to build up over time. So after so many waves, I think it's like every 10 waves, you get a, a thing of rift flux. And then that's what you use uh, to craft most of the unique stuff in this mod. So rift flux plus two lapis gives you a damping uh, agent. And the damping agent keeps the nexus uh, level the same so it uh, won't send more creatures at you it sends like the same number it doesn't increase the number and the difficulty so it stays at like the same difficulty of invasion and if you put three of those together uh, it creates a strong damping agent which starts to lower the nexus level uh, until it eventually gets to zero I think uh, I think it's zero but basically it goes all the way to the bottom and then it stops the invasion and then you'll have to reactivate it the nexus again if you want to use it. Uh, enemies while you're fighting them during the invasion will drop these small remnants of the rift flux and if you put nine of them together you can get a rift flux. And now uh, the game does a pretty decent job of uh, giving you uh, items to make more uh, nexus things and all the stuff that you need to make it so lapis is used in a couple of the recipes diamonds are used so it gives you recipes to create those with rift flux which I think is convenient it lets you do the fun stuff more often uh, you can also combine rift flux with a diamond sword to get an infused sword which uh, builds up a uh, ooh, like a, uh, a healing uh, that I believe it's when you right click uh, after after you've charged it up by attacking uh, so many enemies uh, when you right click uh, with the sword you heal three hearts and then you can do a similar thing with uh, a bow and rift flux and it gives you a searing bow which is kind of like a, a flame enchantment on the bow but it will also go through several enemies so if they're lined up in a row you can shoot right through several enemies <laughs> All right, now we're at the traps. To make your basic empty trap, you need four iron ingots and some rift flux, and that creates this. Um, you take that empty trap, and you can add lava to it, and that gives you a flame trap, which uh, when something steps on it, it uh, I think it's a 3x3 three three, uh, square of fire erupts and catches things on fire. And then if you put an empty trap actually into the nexus, I'll show you that uh, shortly, it will charge it up and give you rift traps, which I don't uh, I don't remember what they do off the top of my head. We'll have to uh, experiment with them and see. 
Um, and then uh, uh, one other crafting recipe. Uh, two rift flex with a bone gives you a strange bone. And I will show you what that does here shortly. Oh, come on. So I'm going to choose up here. I, I put dirt down to show you how they can break through it. Uh, I'm going to put my nexus here. I'm hoping they can't easily come up the top. I know some of the mobs in this can actually build up, though. So that's something to uh, look out for. Do, 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 do. The wolf. Wolf, wolf, wolf. What does wolf look like? You guys are going to be like, you passed over it like five times. Yeah, there you go. Wolf. Okay. So, basically, you have a wolf. If you feed it a strange bone, uh, you see its color will turn purple. That makes it bound to the nexus that it was closest to. And so when it dies, it'll respawn by the nexus. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It gives you some help um, while you're doing this nexus stuff. Um, I'm going to make it clear. I'm going to change my game mode. And we're going to do this uh, after I place some traps. So let's take these. And I'll have this to put in the nexus. I believe I put it somewhere. Um, oh, we'll wait till you activate it because you have to activate that. That's where you put the thing to activate it. <laughs> um, so this is going to be fun. Let's do this and we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know if they'll set each other off. Um, I didn't think to try that yet. Um, but here we go. It uh, asks you if you're sure. This is it charging up and then I believe it uses that and I can put these in there. Do 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 do. Oh, get up, buddy. Are you hungry? Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, so we'll try that and see what happens. Oh, there come some spiders. I didn't uh, think about the spiders, but oh oh oh, it just kind of. Uh, destroys them. <laughs> they evaporate. That's pretty cool. Um, where are all the mobs? There's some. There's one. Um, oh, I don't have any arrows. That's probably not a good thing to be unprepared with. I think my dog is tearing that thing up. Let's just uh, do this for now. Oh. Okay. Oh, I guess it automatically heals you when you are in creative mode. That's interesting. Hey, buddy. Oh, so I don't... Oh, there we go. It turns red, and then you set things on fire. Apparently, I did not... How did he get up here? Oh, <laughs> just by climbing. Oh, I'm dumb sometimes, guys. Um, so you can see it's going a little slow at the moment. Oh, and you automatically pick these empty ones up. That's pretty convenient. Oh! Whoa! And you can become prone to the fire. Uh, so just keep that in mind. They're coming all over the place. Now see that pig guy there? Uh, they can actually build stuff to get up or through walls. Um... So let's see, what is he building? Or are they just breaking? Oh, they're fighting my dog. He was building up, though. But my dog, being a good man that he is, saving my butt. Oh, here we go. Flint, or, uh, sorry. Rift traps. That's good. So I think I'm pretty uh, safe up here until they build up. I'm going to go ahead and... Holy shit, they broke through, but apparently they're retarded. Come on, guys. Come up here. So the AI, a little, little dumb. I like the, the little flaming animation it makes. That's pretty cool. Um, whoa! I'm glad that it just uh, drops the items that they break. That's kind of convenient. Whoa! 
Alright, get out of here. Whoa. That, the wolf is pretty legit at this, though. Um, and basically you're preventing them from getting to here. Um, when they get to here, it drops down this power health thing. I don't know exactly how it works. Um, oh, I got some reflux. Um, so I'm not sure how it works between the, the traps and the rifts. Oh, I guess it's this over here that it does. Well, actually, we could... I don't know how they're going to get past my dog. Oh, yep, see, look, that, that pigman uh, built his way up uh, to here. Um, let's see what else is out here, if there's any other unique ones. Hey, get out of here, sir. Let me go grab this so I can try and block him off again. So that they at least have to uh, knock that down to get up here. How'd you get up here? <laughs> oh, I'm a cow tipper. That's interesting. All right. Lots of traps. It generates lots of traps, and this is a renewable thing. So as it's going, you can get more and more of these traps. Um, so it doesn't seem that hard. Um, it's definitely fun. You can set up little arena or little. Uh, it's kind of tower defensey. Oh, hey, buddy. I don't know how they're getting up here like they are. Unless somebody put like a... Yeah, I'm not sure how they're jumping up this high. Oh, no! And you can see I'm picking up uh, some small remnant. Oh, that would be my dog. Sorry, doggy. <laughs> now let's see if I set these off. Oh, I do. That's not good. Good thing I killed myself. Oh! The Nexus is being punched. Um, I'm actually curious to see what happens when it gets to zero. So I'm just going to let them. Gotta get out of here. Get out of here. Come this way, boy. <laughs> um, oh, and the, I guess that... For some reason, I thought that was my dog. Yeah, the the durability down here is actually the charge on it. So I guess this weapon can't break um, 55 HP. Um, but I think this is a really interesting concept. Um, and I'd be excited to see what other types of traps that they could come up with. Oh, I guess my dog came alive and is uh, killing people. Alright. Yeah, my dog. <laughs> but you can see they even have an animation for when they're breaking things. Um, there is another ogre mob. Um, he might not come until way later though. Uh, he's a little fat and he, he will throw actually chunks of things at you. Um, kind of like the tank in like Left 4 Dead. That kind of thing. He just throws shit at you. Uh, and they, he has a bit of HP. Alright, uh, we're getting there. Oh, and then my dog out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, I think they start showing up closer to, uh, round 10. Um, I don't see any HP on here, so I guess the only way you can know is, um, uh, when it pops up and tells you. Which seems, if you weren't paying attention. I guess you could hit enter, but you don't have enter if you're playing the game legit. So I'm not sure about that. Oh, we can look at this thing, which I, I don't know what it does. I don't know what you do. Oh, I'm in creative mode. Ha ha ha. Silly me. Oh, I can't. Uh, oh, I can put a trap on the thing. That's interesting. Um... <laughs> Traps are fun. Get out of here, crazy kid. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what the material probe does. I don't think it does much. Yowza. Get out of here. 
Um, or it's doing things that I don't quite understand because this one's supposed to change the uh, range of it, but it's not telling me what it's changing it to if, if it is changing. So that, I mean, that could just be broke in whatever version this is. Um, anyways, I will go back around and they didn't come the way I expected them to. I was expecting them to just break through this, which would have been cool, uh, but I guess not. <laughs> oh, Nexus is almost dead. Oh, but when you get close, they decide to attack you instead of the thing, so... Oh, God! I'm just gonna get out of the way of the Nexus. And deal with that. I really like the healing of the sword. I think that's pretty cool. Um, pretty handy. Get out of here. Alright, so Nexus is about to die. 5 HP... Oh, it kills me. Alright, so because my life was bound to it, it kills me if I let it die. And then I just respawn as normal in the middle of nowhere because I didn't change my spawn point. Alright, so that was the invasion mod. It's pretty fun. Uh, I enjoy it. Um, you should definitely check it out. And um, I will see you next time. Uh, this is it for Apocalypse Week. I'm sad to see it go. But I'm glad that I got to do a mod uh, showcase every day this week. Um, it was not a normal week. It wasn't Saturday through Sunday or anything like that, but it was just the first of the seventh. Uh, we'll do it again next year, so a whole year from now. Mark it on your calendars. Apoc apocalypse week. Um, I'll go back to doing some normal videos, try to do a mod showcase about once a week, um, and just uh, other uh, server videos and that kind of thing sporadically. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, again, this is Apocalypse Week, so another apocalyptic type mod. Uh, this is the Day Z mod, or Day Z, if you are anyone that cares to pronounce it 